Oh boy, everybody. <clears throat> Here comes another video that isn't a random ramen. Can you believe it? I can't. But um, I did need to let everybody know that, uh, yeah, the old Facebook account, that's its history. So if you were my friend on Facebook, I want to extend to you an apology. I'm sorry that whatever happened, happened. Speaking of which, if there is anybody who was around, I think, May 3rd, like around noonish or so, I want you to let me know if you saw anything strange. <clears throat> because apparently there was something that happened in the course of about an hour of me not monitoring my Facebook account. And uh, it was very curious. All of a sudden, we wake up and it's gone. Just uh, disabled, not gonna tell me why. Um, as a matter of fact, it wants a photo ID, right? <laughs> Before I can continue with this appeal process. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a bit too much, don't you? <laughs> Let's go ahead and scan some official documents, turn them into a JPEG, send them out there into the ether, right? And that's, that's a great idea, isn't it? Oh, boy. So, uh, again, I would like to implore you, audience, if there is anything that you saw that was uncharacteristic of me, um, I would like you to let me know. If there is anything that you found offensive that was characteristic of me, I'd really like to know. Um, because I'm sort of being accused of something that oh, I don't think is very characteristic of me. Not at all. So, uh, yeah, little, little miffed about this whole thing. So I had woken up a little bit extra early this morning in question, and uh, I drank my tea, I was just surfing the internets like I usually do, trying to keep abreast on issues, and I uh, laid down to take a nap, and uh, the computer was still on, so I have no idea what really went down. Um, it could have been something that I posted previously to uh, this event. Could have been. This could have been something I posted that morning. I'm not ruling it out. I want to be fair-minded in this um, whole situation, even though I feel like I'm not being treated fairly by two people specifically that I can name out. Dwight and Adrian H. Hmm. These are people that are in some way affiliated with customer service, uh, but very loosely, I assure you, they have no idea what customer service is. And I really am uh, curious as to what kind of review was put into just completely taking this account away. Uh, again, uh, I'm not so sad to see the account go, but the circumstances in which it is going, I am very curious about, and I am uh, pretty determined to try to find out what happened. Because if somebody is out there trying to make a bad name for the old Lofi, I'm going to try to get to the bottom of it as quickly as I can. And I am going to, uh, yeah, we're going to put out an old Lofi Jihad. <laughs> you know how this goes. So uh, stay tuned for that, you guys. But we have some words uh, to have with Dwight and Adrian H. of customer service. Anyway, that afternoon I did start the appeal process. I did not send them my photo ID. What am I fucking nuts? Uh, I submitted, could you inform me why my account was disabled? I don't remember posting anything controversial. I don't think I should have to submit a picture ID over the goddamn insecure internet to find out why. 
Now, you have to understand, you guys, when uh, you all of a sudden get this unreasonable circumstance of losing your account altogether, um, I don't think the first thing that they should ask you for is something that, you know, nobody should <laughs> ask you for. Unless you're being pulled over by a cop. And, uh, yeah, I guess there's people out there that even disagree that they should be able to see their ID. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> let's continue on. Hi, thanks for your report. Uh, we'll review the information you provided and get back to you soon. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Uh, in the meantime, you can review our community standards. Okay, here we are. Community standards listed for the first time. Ding! There's number one, you guys. And eventually, Dwight got back to me. Let me tell you about this, Amorous Gentleman. Your account has been disabled for not following the Facebook community standards. Oh, I won't be able to reactivate it. We disable accounts that solicit others or feature content that is sexually suggestive slash contains nudity. Here we are, you guys. Here we are. This is the first time that I'm notified of something that is pretty, like, this is a red flag. This is like all the red flags, you guys. I, I can't, uh, I can't stress to you enough that this right here was, um, was more than enough to just uh, tell me that, hey, something bad went down. Something bad, and it probably wasn't me because I normally don't do stuff like that. And if you would refresh my memory, <laughs> I would I would love to see that, you know? I, I would love to see the thing that I posted that has the nudity or th that I was soliciting somebody else, you know? So, uh, we require that everybody follow the community standards. Learn about the community standards here. And look, you guys. Number two. Ding! Number two. Community standards. You should, you should list them for me again. Because I didn't, I didn't see them the first time when I fucking signed up for Facebook. But you're going to make sure that you listen to me 50 more times before we're fucking done. I'm sure that's productive. I'm sure that doesn't fucking enrage people, you pieces of shit. Okay, so you're saying that I posted something with nudity or that I solicited sex from another Facebook account? This is this is what I am asking them to clarify. Could you please indicate which of these was the case and give me the example of this accusation? I believe this was a mistake. You guys, <laughs> how, how more clear could I be? An obvious abuse that happened that, that somebody else perpetrated, probably. Because I... I I, first of all, I am curious. I want to know which of the two. If you're if you're n not accusing me of one of them, you're just accusing me of all of it, as far as I'm concerned. And if I was perpetrating these things, I would know. Let me break it down for you, Dwight. So you're going to give me this line about uh, some kind of a obscene image posting or some kind of a sexual harassing of some kind, right? So I'm, I'm asking you, I'm like, hey, which, which one of these two was it? You know, you gotta, you gotta let me know. You gotta make it more specific than that. And then you back up and you're like, here is the entire terms and service. Like, I realize that you want to point me to specific clauses that are explaining these two different fucking situations, but you have to realize that I am in, I am curious as to which of the two situations you are referring to. It's ridiculous. It's fucking insane. And if you accuse me of just about anything else, just about anything else, Dwight, I would have just let that go, because I I I, I would probably be guilty of whatever it would be, like being an asshole to another Facebook member. Yeah, sure, I do that. You contact me at 3 in the morning with some bullshit, I'm going to cut loose. <laughs> That's what I do. Are you going to come at me with some pseudo-scientific bullshit? Yeah, I'm going to cut loose on that, too. And I'm going to come at you with the teeth and the claws. But I am not 
guilty of these things that you are talking about. Unless you show me. If you can show me and I I can reflect on this moment, don't you agree? This would be a nice little chance for me to grow. Hmm? Don't you? Don't you think man baby Lofi could grow up a little bit if you shove my nose in my little pee-pee spot on the carpet? No. No, you're not going to do that. So, let's go ahead and review the scenario, fellas. We have two different possible things that you have sent me. All right? We have scenario one. I have put some kind of a lewd image on the internet, and I am guilty of this, and I know it, right? There's situation number one. That's, that's like, that's scenario one, right? Here's scenario two. I am sexually harassing somebody, and I know it, right? That's situation number two. Scenario number two, right? Now, in those two situations, you feel that you have an answer in just sending me your terms and conditions. Because you're like, here are the two subcategories that you're guilty of, and because you know that, you can pick it out of the terms and conditions. Well, why don't I introduce to you a third fucking scenario in which I don't understand which of these fucking two things you're accusing me of, and I might be fucking innocent. Is this, is this crazy? Am I taking fucking crazy pills? And I ask you for more validation and why you took my account down. Does that not make sense? Hmm? Okay, now, I would like to also talk about if there is, like, a potential identity that is being threatened, right? Is there somebody out there who feels like Big Battle Lofi Molasses is going to send my army of cronies after them? Right? I understand that you have to protect that person's identity. But you can tell me if it was that thing. You can tell me. You can say it was that thing and not the lewd image thing. All right? And again, <laughs> I am not the kind of person to engage in these kind of activities. And I think if somebody reviewed my Facebook account, if they actually put the proper time into it, which I think there was zero time put into it. I think there was zero review put into it. And I think that whatever happened during the course of that one hour is something that probably happens to a lot of Facebook users. When like their account gets stolen, or who knows, who knows whatever. I feel like these are things, these accusations are things that are very uncharacteristic of me. <clears throat> okay? And it's not asking for the fucking moon for you to distinguish these things apart. But again, if I was the person who was actively sexually harassing somebody, you could show me that thing because I did it already, right? Or are you just betting on the fact that I sexually harass so many people that I can't keep track of it? Do you really, did you really ever look at my account? <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. And uh, it looks like on May the 7th, I got extra salty, everybody. I could admit it, so it is 100% not okay to go accusing somebody of something like this and then be all lackadaisical about it. I, I'm not going to sit on my goddamn thumbs while this shit is going on. You better fucking tell me. Uh, so, would you please tell me how long it takes to resolve this kind of issue, Dwight? <laughs> or at least some confirmation of my misdoings. Despite having an audience, 
and and I'm calling it out, you guys. You 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 would uh, you would be surprised how often somebody will crush you when they think you don't have a voice. So I'm 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 putting it out there. I'm saying, hey, I had people on that Facebook account, and now they they all think that something weird is happening because the the message that they got was that uh, that I may have blocked them. <laughs> So I had so many people thinking that I was I was just pissed and and I had specifically singled them out. What a terrible system, don't you agree? Despite having an audience, I'll go along with whatever you decide to do with this account. But if you don't tell me how I solicit others or feature content that is sexually suggestive slash contains nudity, then I'm going to make as big of a fucking stink as possible and try to return the favor of dragging your name through the mud. You guys don't understand. All right, now, I, I am a very sensitive person when it comes to things of this nature. I don't solicit people. I don't post things with nudity, for the most part. Like, I understand that I have a public account now. And a lot of the things that I do post might sometimes be a bit dodgy. But I normally stay away from, from things that I would consider pornography, or that I would consider lewd. And, and not stuff that you would show your grandma who was one of my facebook friends before she died i've had this account for a long time you guys and again uh not not necessarily married to it but uh this is this is the one thing that you can do to make me follow up you can go hey pervert get out of here creep we don't want you that 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 that's <laughs> that's the message now, if you took my account down for everybody else and you let me see what was going on, that would be a solution to this problem. But I'm not even asking for that. I would like an example. If you're saying I posted a lewd image, go ahead. Would you like instructions on how to do that, Dwight? Would you? Adrian H., would you back him up on this? Here's what you do. You just go ahead, you hit the print screen button on the offending image. And then you clip that out in MS Paint or something and you send it to me. You say, this is what got you kicked off, Lofi. I say, oh, you know, I was really being immature about this whole situation and I'm very sorry. Because I did the wrong thing, didn't I? And then I would leave you and your venerated place of business alone, Dwight, Adrian H., fuckfaces. But no, you won't, you won't go through that effort for me, will you? You see, I see very little effort in everything that is coming back to me. And I see very little specificity in how my account was taken. Oh, look at this! Look at this! This is new, you guys! This is new! May the 8th! We deleted the attachments you sent us. This is... Okay, you guys, if you want to appeal to the process, then you have to send your ID, right? And I didn't. I sent them the picture of a clown. You saw it earlier. And look at this. I'm just now reviewing this. And they deleted that shit, and now they're like, Oh, your, your account has been permanently deleted. That must be it. They must not like the fact that I didn't fork over to them my fucking ID. Well, you guys can stick that right up your ass. And I'm still coming after you until you tell me exactly why you fucking shut my shit down. I'm not sorry at all now. You deserved all that shit I slung at you earlier. Eat a dick. This will be our last email regarding the account. Oh, fuck that. This is not the last you're going to hear this. Pieces of shit. Now, I threw some shit their way. I said, hey, I'm going to make you look bad if you don't get to the bottom of this shit for me. All right? I understand that. I understand why they, why they might want to stonewall me a bit. And right here, I'm, I'm laying it out. I'm laying it on the line. I am calling them out. This is war. I don't want you to reactivate it. I want to know what happened to have it disabled because I want to know why I'm being accused of this behavior and your system and response is lacking at best. 
I believe foul play is involved because I have been a target of such things in the past, and I have no indication of what method was used to shut my page down. Your shitty response is just something akin to, you know what you did, now look at all the policies we have as I lazily link the entire guidelines that they've done like over and over again as if that's a proper response. I know plenty of people are unhappy with this sort of treatment and until you tell me why and I understand the concept of protecting individuals so I'm not asking for names, I'm going to do my best to make whoever knows me through my existing social media that this is unacceptable treatment from both Facebook and you Dwight. Everyone who is con connected to my account thinks I deleted them because of your terrible notification system. You can't even do that right. You're too busy trying to catalog people's government IDs. You take this account and you shove it, but you better tell me why, goddammit. At least if you're going to posture like I already know what it was. I have a lot of explaining to do to all these people who just think I'm pissed at them for something and I'm going to tell them how you fucked this up. And until then, expect to hear from me on Twitter. Dwight. Adrian H. This is, this is the last thing uh, I've gotten. <laughs> and I was real salty. Okay, here's Adrian H. again. Also, ding, community Facebook standards. There we go. All over again. Hmm. Yes, your account has been disabled for not following Facebook community standards and we won't be able to reactivate it. We disable accounts that solicit others or feature content that is sexually suggestive or contains nudity. You guys better show me that shit. You better show me that shit. If there's some picture of nudity or something, go ahead and post it right on my goddamn Twitter feed. I dare you. Go ahead and, and shame me to the entire world if you think that's something that I posted. Because I want to know what it fucking was. This is absolute dog shit. Okay, so, yeah, here's the real salt, you guys. Go fuck yourself, Adrian H. I already told you that I don't need it activated. But I want to know why it's deactivated. And you fuckfaces still won't tell me why. And I'm telling you that... I'm paraphrasing here. Solicit others or facial content that is sexually suggestive contains nudity. Is not specific enough. Are you daft? Are you thick? Can you not read the words I say? Wow, I was kind of angry. Anyway, you guys, that's the long and the short of it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I am, I am absolutely enraged. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is not acceptable treatment. They keep coming back to me saying this aggravating shit, this aggravating shit of, oh, we're still not going to re-enable your account. Fuck you. I don't want the goddamn account. It's obviously been compromised. And I want to know how. Because that's a learning experience for me. The learning experience is... Who to trust and who not to fucking trust. Because I hadn't added anybody to that fucking account for like three or four months. And somebody on that fucker is the one that probably did this. And I'm going to try to get to the bottom of it. So please, anybody out there, if you have any inkling of what's going on, please contact me in the comments below or on Twitter, please. <laughs> I would love to know what's going on and I would love to have first-hand accounts on it. Because right now, everybody that's on my Facebook account just thinks I'm angry at them. They just think that they're blocked because their shitty system in place has just uh, this, this message that's like, oh, well, this person, it could be something, could be another. It, it's not like, hey, we disabled this account, which it needs to be, you assholes. So because of this, everybody, guess what? <laughs> guess what? We're going to start a new segment where you tell me all about your Facebook complaints. And we are also going to go out onto the interwebs and find them and post them here for you. Why? Just to proliferate a bad name to Facebook until they fucking tell me.
So you want to be unreasonable. Guess what? This, that sounds pretty fucking unreasonable to me. And I'm going to do that for you. Me, low energy as Lofi. I'm going to bring you a weekly special now. Hope you enjoy. Looks as though Fred of Bristol, Virginia. Facebook has blocked me because I was told I share too much. It also appears Facebook has also blocked slash destroyed my group that I created. Try cities, Virginia, Tennessee, and all areas nationwide adopt and rescue pets. The only things I share on Facebook is animals that are in desperate need of help. Facebook policies uh, are all mess messed up. Facebook allows murders to be committed on their fake me out. They do. They allow groups that abuse animals, but only allow limited shares of people that are trying to help animals that more than likely will lose their life if the shares are not done. Hey, I agree with that. I love the thought of helping animals, but obviously that can only be done if you limit your shares on Facebook, everybody. Well, this this is uh, pretty telling right here. Currently on a 24-hour ban from Facebook, and my video was removed. Video was of six-year-old son shirtless talking about all the things he did on vacation. It was reported maliciously for nudity by someone angry that I left a negative review. The title of the video has my son's name in it. Jerk. I have no idea how this slipped past Facebook, but it's been all day. I've been frantically trying to figure out how to have my account reinstated and my video put back up. Men are allowed to be shirtless. I have no idea why Facebook takes its nipple issue to the extreme. I don't think I posted anything with my nipples out. Like, this is me personally talking, you guys. I'm not, I'm not still reading. <laughs> Incredibly upset, and this has caused me to lose access to my business page. Yeah, here you go, you guys. Like, they're fucking with all kinds of shit right now. Like, I've had this account for many, many years, and uh, it's handy to get the word out to people. Not saying I'm big enough to get a word out, but, uh, yeah, hey, it fucks with shit, doesn't it? This is not the first time an angry person has falsely maliciously reported a photo or video and not the first time that they've moronically removed it either. Listen to this, you guys. This is like almost exactly my experience. I mean, I would fucking wonder if it was my experience because who knows? Was I reported for nudity? Maybe. Maybe it's somewhere in there. It could be nudity. It could be fucking me... It's just in the bushes outside someone's house jerking off on their window, right? Give me a fucking break. People are assholes. Can't believe this. It's a six-year-old male with his swim trucks on. Yep. There you go. That's, that's still enough. Yeah. So, needless to say, there's plenty of things that we could talk about when it comes to Facebook quality assurance and customer service. Mainly that there is none. There is fucking zero. I need a review. I need to review this goddamn shit. I don't want to see somebody else reviewing it, too. I want to know. Give me a description of what I did wrong. You can do that. You could take ten seconds. Or did you look? Did you fucking look? Do you know? Can you explain it? Because right now, I get the notion that you don't care and that you just decide to take people's Facebook accounts. That's the impression I'm under. And I'm going to get that word out to everybody. You're just like, you're just mining people for their fucking IDs, aren't you? That's what you're trying to do. And I think it's disgusting. You're, you're just becoming these repositories of information for people to go and skim any kind of information they need to hack, whatever. You're probably the people that are perpetuating the hacking at some point with these just gatherings of things like government documents. And and this is going to be ongoing until you fucking give me a reason. Until you tell me what it was. Because there's people fucking out there that are doing this shit. And, and they're everywhere. And you should know that. You should know that I've had people fucking impersonating me. Or, or trying to gain access to my 
accounts maliciously. Yeah, you see that right there? That ain't me. Looks an awful lot like someone I know, but that ain't me. And I lost this account sometime around when I lost it at the uh, first VidCon. Hmm. Curious. Yo, dog. Lofi Molasses here want to give a shout out to Molasses. <laughs> and to be completely swept under the rug because you, uh, I don't know, maybe you feel like you've been mishandled because I told you that you were not fucking right about this issue. I didn't, I didn't say anything about that until the third fucking contact with Dwight. People are fucking clowns. And I'm gonna get an answer eventually. And until then, expect this all the time. Fuck you.